Livelihood Improvement Family Enterprises in the Niger Delta, Life NG, Abia State Coordinating Office, has successfully concluded the process of selecting potential incubators in 25 communities across the 10 selected local government areas in the state for the initial stage. The state project coordinator, Dr. Uchenna Onyezu, who disclosed this in an interview with Abia Online in Omwahia, said that about 250 incubators will be engaged in the first phase, a process he said would continue till the end of the project. The project is meant to be implemented in 100 communities across the state um, within 10 local governments. So we've been able to identify through some uh, standards, through some IFAD criteria, we've been able to identify 10 LGAs and we've been able to also pass through that process and identify 100 communities that we're working with across the state. According to him, the next step is to link the incubators up with the already inaugurated 25 incubators who will train them in their various chosen fields of agro-commodity using their own facilities. So in doing this, we've been able to identify agro-entrepreneurs or enterprises that are into agro agricultural production, processing and marketing across these um, communities that we are working on. We want to look at those that are already doing the business of agriculture and making money, that have experiences, that can speak to what they are doing. When we identify them, we we'll now go also identifying what we call incubators, who also young persons between the age of 18 and 35, and women headed household with less uh, children less than 15 years, living very close to these um, incubators. And we we'll now, after some understanding with these incubators, engage incubators that will now go train at these incubators um, farm as the case may be. Dr. Onyizu said the project adopted what it called the incubator slash incubating model in order to see how effective it can be in reviving our rural economy, adding that the selection process was transparent. That of, of course, we have a structure that will look at the number of times they will trend and we'll, the project will support those training. The, the, the project will support you with some stipend to these um, incubators for those inconveniences of having our incubators come train and come uh, become capacitated within their, their, the areas at which they are working on. And after that, the project will now establish these incubators. Now, it's also good for us to know that this process is as transparent as we can. We can make it be. Uh, we are looking at young persons who are un unemployed or underemployed. Uh, we are looking at young persons who are enthusiastic into entering or endeavoring into agro businesses within their rural these rural communities. So, and uh, we are hopeful that having place a very strict criteria in terms of the selection so that to avoid possible influences by other community leaders or by the political leaders or whoever could influence such processes. We put in some strict measures and strict steps to ensure that that doesn't happen. So we are hoping that at the end of the day, we we'll get at least those that really deserve this project so that the project can really transform lives because the project aims at reviving the rural economy. We are looking at those that can really be, be changed as they engage in this process, in this our engagement. Also in a separate um, interview, process. some of the consultants who are on hand to interview prospective incubators in these communities noted that despite some challenges that appear to scuttle the exercise, it ended up being a huge success. Um, you know, the emphasis is on livelihood improvement you know, of family enterprises uh, with the main objective of reducing poverty because if you build the capacity of the people in terms of knowledge and skills and then you're able to empower them financially 
then they will be able to create wealth. And uh, it will have a chain effect too, because as you train somebody, he becomes an incubator, and other people will also learn from him. So it has a multiplier effect. And I, I thank God for the successes recorded. It has not been easy. It's quite, it has been quite tasking. In some cases, challenges that appeared to scuttle the whole exercise, uh, but we were able to surmount them and uh, we made good progress. So far, so good. For all the communities we went to, we were able to accomplish the task. Some community leaders who spoke on the exercise described the selection process as very open and transparent. Uh, I really thank God the team went successfully. We have done it not minding the person or uh, capacity or level of anybody in the office. They did it openly, it was uh, transparent indeed. Uh, incubatees uh, that was captured and the ones that uh, we are processing now, uh, their, their files are not just of them, their data. They are originally from this Isha Lukumba Autonomous Community. We recognize them, we have seen them. They are not uh, infiltrators. They are not from other communities. They are uh, 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 members of uh, Ishaluku Mbato Autonomous Community. Lauded both the federal and state governments for the life and the project and expressed the hope that the project would go a long way in reducing unemployment among the young people in the communities, as well as improving the economy of the rural people. We are happy, the people of uh, Isha Lukumbato, we are, we are very, very happy for this opportunity given to us. Uh, it's a privilege. I know it is uh, because of how they decided it, because you know, they decided to appreciate us, they decided to come to us, they decided to choose our own uh, community, you know, based on their criteria. So. Uh, we appreciate. I'm grateful to the President of the uh, Federal Republic of Nigeria in the name of uh, President Muhammad Bilal, who made it possible to revise the former uh, idea of Nigerians who believes only in Oye, but today we want to take us back to agricultural programs which I know had been successful in other countries. Today, it's like Nigeria is going back, Nigeria is going back to agriculture. We really thank God. And we have a, an agriculture-friendly government. Dr. Okeze Ipazo, who has been helping pay a kind of fund by other states. I am grateful to him and also my community on behalf of my traditional ruler, who is not here today. I am also grateful to him. Well, this is it for today's edition of Abbey Online News. Catch you next time.